uh, we are here in Baden Baden in this beautiful location uh, with this uh, beautiful Indian summer weather, so to say, uh, with uh, the Swiss re representative, Mr. Christian Kreutzer, market head of Austria and Central and Eastern Europe and transition lead for North and Central Eastern Europe, and Mr. Ralf uh, Müller, head of facultative property and casualty within Swiss Re. Welcome. Uh, we will discuss about uh, the challenges and uh, the evolution of the reinsurance market uh, as we are heading to, towards uh, 2020. Apart from the netcat risk, uh, what do you think about the evolution from the Central and Eastern Europe? What is the uh, Swiss Re strategy for these markets? I mean, to start with, uh, Central and Eastern Europe is uh, is probably the only real growth area we have in, in the whole European insurance markets. So there is still a consistent underlying growth uh, year, year after year. It's fair to say that the, that the product offerings uh, in Eastern Europe are still very much within the traditional framework of insurance. I mean, everyone has a car and with this buys a motor insurance and motor still accounts for 60 to 70 percent of the revenues of insurance companies um, in, this, um, in this market region. But I do believe there are a lot more other exposures uh, which, we, which we also need to address with uh, our customers in the region and where we can transfer and, and create new insurance products. One area uh, where I would see that Central Eastern Europe has a significant potential of growth is liability. Um, we see that uh, economies in Eastern Europe increasingly produce um, products and services which are sold on a global scale and with this also the liability regimes in terms of product liability or financial liabilities change and companies um, offering such products and services need to have respective liability products in place um, and that is clearly an area if you ask me where are where are the immediate growth pockets in Eastern Europe that would be one. Another topic on the agenda of the insurance and reinsurance companies regarding to digitalization. Uh, what are the Swiss Re solutions in this uh, field in uh, digitalization and insure tech for the Central and Eastern European markets? How do you see the development in this direction? I mean, when you when you look at the at the distribution uh, channels in Central Eastern Europe, um, it's still a market region where the majority of retail and also commercial business is generated via traditional agent networks. Um, so people um, out in the fields uh, reaching out to customers and, and, and providing insurance products. At the same point in time, uh, we also know that societies in Eastern Europe have a very strong affinity to internet and to, to, to mobile devices. I mean, when you walk in the streets in, in Warsaw or walk in the streets in Bucharest, you have the impression that almost everyone is constantly communicating on their mobile phones with someone, right? Yeah. Uh, and I think that's that's something where we as an insurance industry need to find ways how we can utilize those success points in providing products um, insurance and offerings um, on the insurance side um, we do have platforms for that um, also in the retail space uh, we for example have a product uh, life in in different markets in Europe where we provide insurance coverage for flight delay where you can basically in a very simple way you lock in your flight number um, and then you get an automatic coverage if the flight is delayed by more than one hour or more than two hours. Um, and that's a product you can easily sell on a mobile device. Uh, our response to digitalization is Swiftry. Swiftry is a tool that is developed for small and medium-sized facultative business so far. And it's a complete digital solution, so from A to Z in the underwriting process, including accounting. Uh, we currently are developing uh, the next version called Swiftry 2.0. And this is not only designed for, for facultative business, we also think about uh, facilities and even smaller uh, treaty business uh, should be handled by this channel that will be the online channel of Swiss Re. The, this uh, brings our interview to an end. If you want to add anything uh, else as a conclusion. Um, I mean, 
I'd like to just repeat what I what I said various times during our interview. We really want to work with our clients as partners in creating new risk pools and in creating insurance solutions for new risk pools. And uh, we should not uh, all of us should not continuously fight for the for the same piece of the cake. We should rather look into ways and means how we can increase the cake and with this um, have an even more uh, positive future on insurance business and reinsurance business in Central and Eastern Europe. We have a dedicated team of facultative underwriters uh, and that is not uh, the case with some of our competitors and we are even expanding uh, the, the resources uh, on the facultative side by hiring additional underwriters in Bratislava and they are serving uh, particular markets in CE already. So we, are, we feel fully committed to the region, uh, we like to do facultative business in CE and uh, yeah, this is our message to the market.